ATV Hassan presents advice from sages. What is not worth talking about? Sages say the first thing to keep secret is one's far reaching plans. Keep silent until this plan is fulfilled. Any of our ideas is not only imperfect, but also they have a huge number of weak points that are very easy to be hit and destroy everything. The second thing that sages recommend is not to share the secret about their charity. A good deed is a rarity in this world, and that is why it must be protected like the apple of an eye. Do not praise yourself for doing good. Pride will immediately see it and take away all the good that came as a result of the charity. The third thing the sages do not recommend spreading about is one's ascetism. Do not tell everyone about your dietary restrictions, sleep, and so on. Physical ascetism is beneficial only if it is combined with the emotional component. The fourth thing to be silent about is your courage and heroism. Someone receives external challenges and someone internal. External challenges are visible, therefore people receive rewards for them. But no one notices overcoming internal challenges. That's why no awards are awarded for them. The fifth thing uh, you should not talk about is spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge has different levels and should reveal a certain level of purity of consciousness. The main mistake of the novice bearer of the truth is the desire to share to too high spiritual knowledge, which instead of bringing goodness to a person only confuses and even frightens him. The sixth thing you should not especially share with others is to talk about your domestic conflicts and generally about your family life. Remember, the less you talk about problems in your family, the stronger and more stable it will be. This is getting rid of the negative energy that has accumulated in the process of communication. The seventh thing that is not worth talking about is the bad words that were heard from, from someone. You can dirty up your shoes on the street or you can dirty up your consciousness and the person who arrives home tells everything that he heard from a stupid person along the way is no different from the, the, from the person who comes home and does not take off his shoes. A person's tongue is a great test for him. He can commit the acts that distance him from the Almighty God. One of the righteous men said, My tongue is like a beast. If I let it go, it will tear me apart. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that it is better to be silent if you are not going to say good things. About the sins that a person commits with his tongue, the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said, be aware of deception. Indeed, deception stands next to the debauchery. Indeed, deception stands next to the debauchery and they will both be on fire. Truly, when the slave of Allah deceives, angels move away from him at a distance of farsan due to the foul odor emanating from his mouth during deception. You commit tremendous betrayal when you tell something to your brother in faith and he believes in it and you deceive him. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, do you want me to tell you about the worst of you? The companions said, Yes. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Gossip, breaking relations between friends, looking for flaws in pure people. The one who will spread the rumors about the believer in order to defame him, Allah will defame on the day of judgment for his words putting him into the fire of hell. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. By subscribing to the channel, you are not only gain knowledge, but also you become a disseminator of Islam.